In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do two of the different styles of transitions that you just saw. The first one being this kind of lens distortion bubble transition, and the second one being this also bubble style transition, but we have an RGB split and a spherical thing going on. I think it looks really cool. This video is a part of a series of videos where I'm showing you how to do the different transitions that I've made for my preset pack. So if you want to learn how to do them yourself, here we are. For the first one, we're gonna go from the car and warp into the dashboard like this. To start off with, go to your project panel, go to the little new item icon, and we want to create an adjustment layer. Make sure that the width and height are the same as your sequence settings and hit okay. Drag your adjustment layer to the timeline and place it above the intersection of your two clips where you want the transition to happen. Adjust the duration to whatever you want it to be. Next step I like to do is create a marker here on the timeline so I have a good reference as to the midpoint between the two clips. And you can do that by hitting M on your keyboard with no clips highlighted. Now we wanna to go to the effects panel underneath video effects, distort, lens distortion. Click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. With the adjustment layer highlighted, go to your effects controls. What we are going to be animating or keyframing is the curvature. Go to where you want the animation to start, hit the toggle animation or this little stopwatch for your curvature. Now click your marker to take it to the midpoint and we want to take the curvature all the way to negative 100. Next move the playhead to where you want the effect to stop. Go back down to zero. You could also just hit reset parameter and that will do the same thing. So right now we have something like but if you want to adjust the duration to something shorter all you have to do is move these outside keyframes. So now we get something like and one other cool trick you can do is highlight all of your keyframes Right click, go to ease in, and now we're getting a curve on the velocity. And we also wanna right click and do ease out. Click and drag the handles to create any kind of animation velocity that you want. So we get something like this now. Notice how it's much more abrupt and intense in the middle, and it kind of eases out. Very cool effect. Now let's move on to this second style of transition. For this example, since I've already shown you certain steps like how to create an adjustment layer and put a marker on the timeline, I'm going to skip those and go directly to my effects window. Underneath video effects, immersive video, we're going to drop on VR rotate sphere. At the beginning of our adjustment layer, where you want the transition to start, we're gonna to toggle animation on for the tilt X. Now, instead of going to the middle section, I'm gonna move the playhead to the very end of the adjustment layer or wherever you want the transition to stop. And there's two ways you could go here. You could go all the way to 360 if you kind of want the transition to go downwards, or you could go all the way to negative 360 if you want this transition to fold in on itself upwards. For this one, just to make things easy, I'm just going to go all the way to 360. So I'll type that in here. And the reason why we're doing 360 is because we want a full rotation so we get back to a clean visual here without that crease in the middle. The next thing that we want to add is our RGB split. That's where you're kind of pulling the colors away from each other. Go back to our effects panel and still underneath video effects, immersive video, we want to go to VR chromatic aberrations click and drag that onto our adjustment layer as well. To take this a step further, I want to really stretch the colors once we get to the midpoint and then have them return back to normal by the time we end the transition. So to start off with, right here at the beginning of the adjustment layer, if you hit reset parameter, it actually won't restore some of these to zero. What I wanna do is hit zero on red, zero on blue, and zero on fall off distance. We're going to toggle on animation for red, green, blue, and fall off distance. Go to our midpoint. It's up to your creative opinion how far you wanna take your chromatic aberration. So before I move any of these, I'm gonna take my fall off and return this back to 50. And now whenever I move any of the red, green, or blue away from zero, and that could be positive or negative, notice how much it's separating the colors in your visual. So now we get something like this, where it starts off normal and then it starts really stretching those colors. And then I'll return back to zero for all of these. Remember, you can't really hit reset parameter. So what I'm gonna do is highlight all of these, right click, copy, and then paste them over here. Vroom. I wanna give it some depth to the velocity of what this is doing. So with the tilt X, I'm going to hit the down arrow, highlight both of these, right click, do ease in, right click, do ease out. And now we have an exponential curve 
But what I want to do is maybe pull these into the center a little bit so we get something like this. And now we can start to really play around with our chromatic aberration and the kind of fall off that happens. Vroom. That's so cool. Vroom. There's so many different ways that you could approach this. So instead of just doing a auto VR properties on our chromatic aberration, watch this. If I unclick this and let's say we go to over under, notice how we're switching how it looks. And maybe instead of doing over under, we do side by side. And now we get something even more trippy like that. Again, I could also go to the rotate sphere, unclick this and maybe do side by side and see what we get. Oh, that's, it's really cool. Premiere surprises me sometimes with the amount of creative possibilities that you have by just applying two different effects. And with just a couple clicks, you can end up with a completely different type of transition. If you are interested in utilizing my preset pack to do this, you wouldn't be using an adjustment layer, you'd just be applying it to the clips themselves. Go over to the effects panel, underneath presets in my transition pack, I have bubble distorts. That RGB split we were doing, you would do RGB split down A, and RGB split down B, and vroom, you get the effect that easy. If I wanted to do that bubble distort, then put A on the first clip, bubble distort B on the second clip, now we get this. Vroom, vroom. That's just utilizing it with my presets, but obviously I've shown you how to create them for yourself whichever one works best for you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if this was helpful. On the screen, I'll leave a playlist for all the different videos showcasing to you how to do the different transitions from my pack. I'll be supplying more videos to that playlist as they come out. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.